Hey, I'm Mechanical Engineer, and today we're going to be trying our hand at making our own BattleBot toys. Here are two of Hexbug's BattleBot Push Strike toys. They're about five bucks new, if you can find them in stock at the store. And they're actually quite a lot of fun to play with. It can actually get quite addicting at times. Yeet! But sadly, they don't make these for very many robots at all. If I'm not mistaken, I think they only make four. As you can see, they of course do Bite Force and Bronco. Then I believe they also do Witch Doctor and Tombstone. And although those are all cool robots, there's a lot more cool robots out there still to do. Now I do know they're getting ready to release a whole new series of these Push Strike toys, but sadly, I don't think too many robots will be added to it. So today, I thought it'd be cool to try to make my own Push Strike BattleBot toy modeled after one of my favorite BattleBots, Ice Wave. So let's see what we can do. So to get started, we're of course going to want to jump into our CAD software. I'm using FreeCAD and start designing the actual robot. But the design process is going to be a little bit more difficult than usual because not only do we want all the proportions on the robot to be right so the robot looks normal, but we're also going to want Ice Wave to be the same scale as the other Hexbug push drive toys. To figure all this out, I'm trying to use pictures I find online of Bite Force and Bronco next to Ice Wave because those are the push strike robots I have. But to my great sadness, the only picture I can find of them together is this one. And this is unfortunately season two Bite Force. So the dimensions on Bite Force are different than the Bite Force I have. Hope that makes sense. So unfortunately, what I'm going to have to resort to is using the humans in the picture as my reference points for the scale of each robot. Not ideal, but hopefully we can figure something out. Two days later. Okay, so after a lot of guessing and suffering, I think I have everything figured out. So let's jump over to printing. And so here we are after all of the parts have been printed. You'll notice that we have the main frame of Ice Wave, the engine, the blade, the front wedge, a post that holds everything together, and then of course our four wheels. And so now comes the fun part of assembling everything together. To do this, all I'm going to use is some super glue and some 18 by 5 8 wire nails. So let's get started. If we flip over the main frame, you'll see we have four cutouts for the wheels and in the center side of each cutout is a small hole for an axle to go through. So what I'm going to do is drop a wheel into a cutout and then pierce it through with one of our wire nails. I've designed the wheels and frame in such a way to where the nail can just be friction fitted in there without needing any glue while still allowing the wheel to freely rotate. I think that's working pretty well. So now we can move on to the wedge. Now I've designed the wedge in such a way to where it snaps in place with the frame pretty well. However, we'll still want to use a little bit of super glue to make sure it never backs out. Perfect. Now we give this a chance to set up. We can move on to the engine, blade, and main post of the assembly. Now as we look at this main post, as you can see, it's basically just a simple rectangular piece, but towards the center of it is a ring that sticks out a little bit. What this ring does is not only allow our blade to spin freely and unencumbered, but also keeps proper distance between the base of our robot and the engine so that the blade doesn't get pinched. So what we're going to do is flip over the engine, exposing a cavity on the bottom side, drop in a little bit of glue, and then insert the main assembly post head down. You can tell because I put an indent at the top. Perfect. Now we can just drop the blade onto the main post, then put the motor assembly and main frame of the robot together, making sure to put just a little bit of glue at the bottom. I am liking this a lot. However, I do want to paint on a few more little details to make it seem a tad more realistic. First off, on the real Ice Wave, the outsides of the blade are dipped in a little bit of black paint, which shouldn't be too difficult to replicate. And then it has Ice Wave Road on it a few different places throughout the bot, which is going to be kind of hard to do since it is so small. But I bought a few special shappies, so let's see what we can do. Oh, 
Okay, I know I've done nothing except marker the tip of the blade, but I might actually have to stop here. I tried writing Ice Wave on the side of a spare frame here, and as you can see, it just didn't turn out very well at all. I don't expect paint to fare any better at all, particularly since I can't paint anywhere close to small enough. And so really, our next best bet is to make micro stickers, and sadly, I can't make stickers nearly that small at the moment, and so I guess this is gonna have to do. And that sounds like I'm giving up. I'm not giving up. I do really like how it turned out. It rolls pretty nicely, the blade spins pretty freely, and it's just all around pretty fun to play with. Plus, it's the same scale as the other robots by design, and so that's super cool as well. And so with all that being said, I am very happy with how it's turned out, and I'm overjoyed to finally have an Ice Wave in my collection. I of course have links for everything I used to build this down below, so if you want to build your own, you're more than welcome to. But I think I'm also going to print a few extra ones of these to take with me to robot events I attend to give away. So if you see me at an event and would like your own free Frankenstein Ice Wave, just ask me and I might be able to hook you up. Oh, and one other thing, I have a dare for you guys. I dare you guys to CAD design a scale model of your favorite combat robot. And if you do, please send me the links for them so I can print them because I would love to add them to my collection. If enough people actually did this, we could potentially one day have all the robots ever built on my shelf. And so there you guys have it, my own bootleg push strike battle bot. But hey, thank you so much for you guys watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And we're going to see you next time. Thanks for watching. And please feel free to subscribe.